Hi everyone, today we'll create and read line plots. So what is a line plot? A line plot is a number line with data shown above it using X's. So let me give you an example. So here we have some data of average animal lifespan. And as I look at this data, I notice my lowest number is a seven and my highest is an 18. So I'm gonna make a number line put this information on. So I'm going to have my number line start at 5 and go to 20. And I'm going to divide that. I'm going to put 10, 15. And I'm going to separate this into four part or five parts. One, two, three, four, by creating four partitions. Now I'm going to enter my data. So kangaroo is seven. So I'm going to go five, six, seven. I'm going to put one X here. Chicken is eight. Those are eight years. I'm going to put an X there and I'm going to try to keep them the same size. A fox is nine. Cow is 10. A wolf is 10, and a deer is 10, and a black bear is 18. Having this data helps us in a couple of ways. The data is shown this way in a line plot. So first, right away, we could see that 10 has the most. Okay, so we could also find the outlier. An outlier is any number that is very different from the rest of the numbers. And right away, we notice that 18, the age of the black bear, is very different from the rest of the set. So let's look at this line plot here, and we're going to answer the questions. So it says, how many giraffes are 14 and a half feet? If you look at 14 and a half feet, we see that there's two. So the answer is two. What is the most common height of the giraffe? If you take a look here, right here there's three that were 15 and a half feet. So your answer is gonna be 15 and a half feet. And how many, how, I'm sorry, how tall is the tallest giraffe on the line plot? And that's pretty obvious, it's 18 and a half feet. And is the number 18 and a half an outlier? I would say so, because it's away from the rest of the data. Now it's your turn to try some on your own. Good luck.